Most parents will have concerns when introducing solids to their baby. No two experiences are the same. Dietitian Sylvia Blay will now address some of the more common ones. Can he have hot dogs or is that okay that I give him processed meat? Or? When we talk about processed meat, really we're including all processed meat. So it doesn't matter whether it's bologna or whether it's turkey breast, which really we you know, kind of consider to be healthier. Uh, they still, most of them are high in sodium and they do have those preservatives. So really those aren't best, um, you know, best choices for baby. Homemade versus store-bought baby food? Some of the benefits of making your own baby food are the increased variety that you can offer to your child. There are many food items in the produce section especially that are not available in baby food jars. Uh, kale would be an example of something that would be a great food to offer to your child but isn't available jarred already. It also gives you the opportunity to offer your child things that you're already consuming as a family. So you just basically take the stuff that you're eating and you just modify the texture so they're really eating off the table with you in fact. Another benefit is that you really you can advance textures easily when you're doing your own homemade because you really can go from that pureed to mash to pieces of soft food uh, whereas some of the jars they do keep it uh, the, the texture quite pureed for quite some time. If you're going to make your own baby food, the one thing that I would suggest is just making sure that you keep things really clean. Uh, make sure there isn't any cross-contamination if you're doing meats and fruits and vegetables that we're being really careful about using separate cutting boards and, and knives and uh, you know different utensils and pots and pans. And uh, just to make sure that uh, the containers that you're putting them into are clean. But other than that, it, it, it isn't that complicated of a process and, and most anybody can make baby food quite easily. One of the things that I would just caution parents to keep an eye on when you're buying baby food from the jar is that there are some that are there that are listed as desserts and usually what that means is there's extra starches and sweets or sugars added to it and those really, as a baby, it's a really good idea to get them used to the natural taste of food without those added sugars in them. Some of the mixed casserole type uh, that would be the noodle and chicken or vegetables and chicken or those kinds of combinations. Meat is not first ingredient and so the iron content on those actually are lower than if you were offering your baby just a pure meat. When I'm introducing foods, how, how do I know if Cameron's going to have an allergic reaction or if he's having an allergic reaction to a certain food? Some of the signs of allergy and things that you want to keep an eye out for when you're introducing new foods. If your baby develops a rash, if they have vomiting or diarrhea, if they end up developing issues with breathing, those are some concerns and things we want to watch out for. So what we suggest really is offering foods three days on their own before you would move on to a new food so we can really make sure they're okay with that food. You want to take a look at your family history. If, you know, any type of allergy that the parents might have, that increases the risk that their child may have an allergic reaction. Some of the foods that you're going to want to watch out for a little bit more, uh, honey definitely is something that we want uh, children to not have until after a year. Whole eggs are another thing that we'd really like to stay away from until a year. Egg yolks actually are fine, uh, but it's actually the white that we want to be careful about. Uh, things like cow's milk, soy, fish, uh, some shellfish, peanuts, nuts, those are going to be typically the foods that are going to be more likely to cause a reaction and you probably be just a little bit more careful when introducing those foods. <music>